Hello everybody, Star Z Gaming back at it again, and here we are going to today present a, I believe, 1986 Honda City Turbo 2. So, this isn't quite your average Honda City. This, uh, let's say, it has a V8. It's, it has a V8 right now, not sure how many liters, but... Yeah, we're going to be restoring this thingy, Majigger, and it's going to be fun because we're going to put a V8 in a tiny little car. So this will be quite interesting. Start by battery, brake servo, all that good stuff out of there. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been really busy with school and kind of kind of work. I don't want to sound like a big hardworking man, but I have my own growing auto detailing business, so that's quite interesting. Um, anyway, I am going to pull the engine out of this. I don't I'm really not sure why. I lifted that up. Can I just... Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, I have to unmount the gearbox. And I have to lift that all the way up. And I right, gotta take off the drive shaft. So like I said, I haven't had much time for YouTube because I lost a lot of important game files. I lost a lot of cars that I uh, did off camera. And that really sucked because I had over one day or 24 hours worth of work in this game in the files. And I lost those because I, del I deleted the files because I put them in... The, the recycling bin in my computer and then when I thought that it was they weren't in there and I didn't check what was in there because I, I, that was stupid so then I unintentionally took out the trash in my computer and that trash was very valuable files some of the most valuable files it's quite, I find it quite fun to Tear this tear cars apart in this game and rebuild them. There's also been ah, some new DLCs. There's been the Rims DLC and the Mercedes Benz DLC. The Mercedes Benz DLC added four cars, two new and two old. I don't remember which ones. I remember one of the old ones had a Gullwing door, and one of the new ones is an AMG. I don't know much about Mercedes, but that's all I can tell you. I, f I chose this mod because, kind of recently, kind of not, I cannot tell you how much I fell in love with my uncle's 1987 Honda Civic Si with 1.5 liter naturally aspirated inline 4 with a 5 speed manual. It, he's owned it since 1987, the year it came out. Everything, basically everything is stock. The seats and the wheels are not, and e e everything, most of everything is original. There's like three things I can think of off the top of my head that aren't. And I just fell in love with it because when, I, when I'm in it, it's a manual, and I've grown to unfortunately hate automatics because I've, uh, as weird as it sounds, I've never had, I've never seen my dad drive a manual, and I bet he'd rock the car, but. Another one of the reasons I love manuals because whenever my uncle would shift, uh, he he would just really rock the whole car, and I would love that. And inside, I'd clap my hands like a little happy baby. Which also reminds me of when we were me and I think me my front my mom's friend came over to our house to hang out. She brought her kids. I remember I was playing Flat Out 2, one of the best games of all time, and it was underappreciated, so get it, you uncultured swines. 
and whenever I'd blow up a car, because it was a very explosive game, uh, she would clap her hands and smile, and I just found that to be the cutest thing in the world. Another thing is, you'll probably see me working on a 97 Type R EK9, because my friend has one, and he told me, uh, another funny thing he told me was, uh, he, I think, I don't know if he actually did this, but it might have just been like a little story or a joke, but he sent me a, a text that said, V, it, it was VRA, like V-R-A-A-A, -A -A, and just a bunch more A's, and then it said another VRA, and it said bumps shifter from, uh, fifth to third, and, oh wait, no. Yeah, I, so basically, he almost blew his motor and locked up his engine because he bumped the shifter from fifth gear to third gear, and we all know what's going to happen. Especially since he was about to... Wait a minute. He was about to shift from probably fifth to fourth, but no, he shifted from fifth to third. So that, that was a mistake. It's good to be back at Car Mechanic Simulator, taking apart cars. Nice. Ah, I'm sorry, but I said nice. I saw, I saw in frames per second on my screen. I saw 69. So I've made a commitment to wherever, whenever I see 69, I have to say nice because everybody knows. It. Oh, the sway bar was sticking in the engine. Somehow I did not notice that or even question that. Oh yes, yeah, very. This car, this car looks like it would make for a good. Uh, what you gonna call it? Damn, damn it! It would make for a good go kart. Yeah, I, I almost want to say kit car, but no. Oh yeah. Uh, so this car has currently a V8 DOHC AXK, and I'm gonna swap it to a V8 DOHC supercharged because American. I'm an American. And a bit Mexican, so yeah, let's go with the good old American V8. Let's pull that honky tonky out of there. And how about we sell every part that I have? Woo, yay! Sell the engine. Make you sell the shocks. 165 or 185? Eh. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so let's see what's inside. While we're at it. Case content! I care. Yay, I guess. I feel bad for selling those, but, eh. Who cares? I do. A bit. Anyway. Looks like it's time to get to building the engine. Alright, nothing in my inventory. Oh, this is going to be fun. Block and fuel filter. Ah, I forgot I have a tablet. Oh crap, I forgot about the tuning part shop thingy. Fuel filter. Yep. Ah, <sighs> bullcock. Yes, I love bullcock. I eat bullcocks for dinner. Anyway, nobody heard that. Uh, let's see. V8, V8, V8. And, alright, good enough. Alright, if I got the wrong one, that was gonna really irritate me. Ah, yes, yeah, so let's check the oil, because that's helpful. Ah, no, never mind. Scratch that. I know how to check the oil. Don't even think for a second. I don't know how. Alternator, crankshaft, power steering pump, crank, the wank shaft. I get all the performance parts. Power steering pump, V8. 
alternator. Uh, this is Right. And I need the clutch bearing ring and clutch release bearing. Then flywheel clutch. Alright, let's get all this good stuff assembled think stock without these custom parts uh, it has 585 horsepower and boom just by adding, adding that alternator for 40,000 horsepower is added to the car nice job and that's how a ricer is born but no a ricer is born by putting a Pringles can on an exhaust and calling it a Lamborghini Anyway, piston with Conrad. I forgot about all. I forgot about the gist of this game. This this was not. There was so many parts that annoyed me. I forgot how enraging this was. So we're gonna need you know seven pistons because it's a nine-cylinder engine. Yeah, that's seven pistons. And then we're gonna need the piston. I pissed in the bearing ring. What do you mean I pissed in the bearing in the bearing ring, Mary Jane? So it's time to add thy pistons to the block. I forget a lot of stuff when it comes to building a car. Got the oil filter, alright, oil filter, engine heads, and underside stuff. Oh god. Oil filter, engine head. Also, uh, me being an idiot, I'm probably gonna blow the surprise sometime. But there's gonna be a surprise coming at the end of the video. Just wait for it. You'll like it. Well, as I have a little, um, not really intermission, I would like to know if, I would like, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe because I need those to support my growing family. Alright, camshaft, spark plugs, supercharger, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, yeah, America! Spark plug. The, the spare plug, spark plug. Ah, I already forgot. Uh, let's see here. Exhaust. Oh yeah, I remember. Why does it always go down like that? Su super. Oh, it was only V8 OHVK. Um, super charger. Jar Jar Binks. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need some of this. Uh, Alright, um, that's, that's good, that's good for now. That's, that's something. That's progress. I like how in my summer car it lets you screw up. By the way, I guess you could say not really shout out, but not sponsored to my summer car for being one of the best games I have played. May not have the best graphics, but in my in my books it does have intense realism. I mean, granted it, you can't push you can't press J on your life keyboard and push and flip a f fictional Hyosico van that has a Finnish wood wood delivery guy on the side and you can't flip that over. 
But hey, in terms of build, actually building a Satsuma, it's it's a good game, a quality game. Not recommended for kids, but I play it because I play it. And if you have, and if you have a problem with that, I will have I will have it arranged to have you clipped. But you don't talk about that. Fuel rail, uh, fuel rail, D. DI1 uh, My brain keeps stalling like a 99 Civic Type R when you go full throttle. <laughs> wink retro wink wink retro wink uh camshaft 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 shaft glory hole shaft uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five camshafts. I it was a choice between the choice between an inline four turbocharged inline four versus a supercharged V8 was a harder choice than you think. But me being me, I chose the wacky, the wacky, wacky, wanky one. That's actually. Let's go. Let's get the cam gears and then let's move on to the underside because that's something I forget about. Camshaft gear, camshaft gear or pulley, pulley camshaft gear, pulley camshaft crankshaft, wankshaft. Damn it. What? 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 Crankshaft? I don't. What? What was I missing? Cam gear. Jesus. Ham gear. American. <sighs> oh, yeah, I forgot the Mercedes Benz DLC, so whenever I see the non modded. the non modded Mercedes Benz uh, icon or emblem in the bottom right corner of the part, it throws me off. So let's get those guys, and before we do anything, let's get to work on the underside of the car so I don't forget. Eh, eh. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Crankshaft bearing cap. Crankshaft bearing caps and the rod caps. Crankshaft bearing cap. And the rod caps. I hope this thing has paint jobs available because if it does, that will make me happy. If you know what I have planned, the best part will be at the end. Quite enjoyable, nice, good old American V8. Quite like these V8s. Fancy. Actually, not that fancy. They're quite simple. The, the inner workings of an engine are just, aren't a hard concept. Oh yeah, something that's really, really, really annoying is the fact that only 18% of Americans can drive a stick shift. Help. Uh, help join whatever force I'm talking about and raise that to uh, 25% and be a man! Drive stick shift, because real men drive stick shift. We're done with the underside. That was simpler than it is in real life. I like how complex this game is. It takes you a couple of years to rebuild this. Serpentine built. Keep scrolling down and it's annoying me. Serpentine built. A V8. A V8. That's not right. Wait a minute. That's the timing belt. 
That was a stupid mistake. Timing belt or timing belt V8? I can go with timing belt V8 and buy both, two of both, because why not? And it was timing belt V8, like I thought. Time cover. Timon cover. Anybody wants to fight with me on uh, how the reliability and just civics in general, if anybody wants to fight about civics and if they're like not good cars, then they can. They can end it all. Crankshaft pulley, water pump pulley. Crankshaft pulley. Water pump. That was just the water pump that I needed, not the water pump pulley. Uh, let's see here. Yay! Water pump pulley, I'll just get that one. Get a standard one. Oopsies. Ah, yes, perfect. Just the right one. Oh, yeah, the idler roller. So we need four Bs, five Bs, and one A. Five B, one A. Five B, one A. Five B, one A. Then we need the Einstein head cover. I can see the bright red V8 ones. A V8 and B B B V8. Ah yes. Feeling of putting together a V8. One of the most satisfying things to me. But the only thing that can make it better is if it were real life. Yep, throttle. You need you need to put on the throttle, otherwise, uh, hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen. Hmm. We should wait and find out. This isn't my summer car. I'm not gonna let you fail yourself. Ah, oh yeah, that's why the supercharger serpentine belt looked all weird. Ah yeah, good thing I bought that ahead of time and the belt tensioner and another idler roller. Belt tensioner, idler roller, A, I believe. Alright, well, we got ignition coils and the throttles. No, why did I say throttles? Ignition. Ignition. Coils. Need eight of those. Wiring, of course. Uh, and then we need the throttle. V8 throttle. So we put the inline four throttle. I don't know what in God's name is gonna happen. I feel like there's something about behind the car that I'm missing out on that I should be doing. Because I know there is something. Wait. Oh, never mind. Eh. Now we need your coils cover. It's not in there. Idiot. Oils. Cover. V8. Wait, why is that red? Is that, is that red? No. I thought, I thought it was a red coils cover. For a minute. I... We are missing something. I... 
I swear we're missing something that I just can't see. And it might just be happiness. Oh yeah. Ah, this is just a little awareness thing, even though barely anybody's gonna see my video. Always wash your hands, keep yourself sanitized, and do all that good stuff. Because if you don't, you'll get the coronavirus. Okay, the, okay, don't take that from me. That was stupid. That was not true. The the risks are higher, a lot higher, of getting coronavirus if you don't keep yourself sanitized. And, but don't take that from me, because I don't know what I'm talking about, and I don't want everybody to kill me for that, because it's not like the internet to go crazy over something small and simple. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Sometimes the internet really pisses me off. Anyway, back to it. Ah, yes. Big boy. Alright, we need the brake servo, the battery, air filter stuff, the radiator. Brake servo, radiator A, battery, and if I remember correctly, air filter. Yeah, they have air filters here. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's go back. Oh, they take uh, air filter base. We need the air filter base and the air filter cover. And we need clips. And I forget if we need... Oop. I forget if we need A or B. A, clip A or clip B. Either way, where's the, where's the air filter cover? There we go. Blind as a bat, or as some people refer to, boy eyes, which I want to slit their throats for saying that. Seven bucks for one clip. Twenty-eight for four clips. Hmm. All right. Ah yes, beautiful to see a masterpiece I created, or the Honda Motor Company created, coming along so well. <laughs> Alright, so, engine bay, it's all done. Yeah, except for the oil, 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 that was a... Big mistake I made a while ago. Ah, yes. I remember exactly when to stop because the sounds, it's just engraved in my head. Right here, right here, right here. There, yep. I knew it. Let me move that back. And for my least favorite part, as you might be surprised, the suspension. I still don't get how that V8 fits in there. I still don't. I know it's glitching through some things, but it's worth it. Oh, yeah. Has a, a something speed manual. And you can't tell how many miles are on the cock. Can't see the speedometer. Time to sell. Eh, eh. Did we really not need the ignition wires? I'm scared now. No, no, no. That was a big mistake. And I just sold the seat. Well, that was great. So I'm going to buy the first seat available. And then I'm gonna buy the first seat of it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I have to get the seats because then I can't start the car up and test it. Let's see, see its interior shop. I should buy a random seat, whatever fits. Just the seats, all right. I like a very specific type of seat because it looks like race car seats. Walk 
way. <sighs> There's no start. Okay, that was stupid. I forgot the starter, the fuel pump, and the fuel. The fuel everything. Except for the fuel filter. Fuel filter, I got. Fuel filter is right. I can't find it. That's concerning. Yeah, I don't see the fuel filter. Any up oh, there it is. Sneak, sneaky little guy. That <sighs> that I uh, I would say fuel filters are notorious for being sneaky and hiding, but I I cannot confirm that. Alright, um, it's time to move on. Steering knuckle, A, steering knuckle, A, the rack, steering knuckle, A, steering rack, front sway, I forget if it's A or B, I think it's just the sway bar in general. the knuckle. There's the sway bar. Alright, let's see. Tie rod. Tie rod, axle, knuckle cover, and shock. Tie rod. Axle, knuckle cover. I'm buying two to think ahead. Shock. Absorber cap and front shock absorber A and spring that laugh. Oh yeah. Gotta use the spring puller and join parts. Eh, 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 eh. Yep. Car without shocks would be quite interesting. Screaming down the road. And this guy's done. Anyway, we need the wheel hubs and let's see. Wheel hub and just lower suspension arm. Wheel hub. Uh, wheel hub bearing. We need four wheel hub bearings. Uh, suspension arm. Piece of resistance. Lower suspension arm. And two of those guys. Importante. Muy inteligente. Ah, uh, yes, all the brake stuff. That's another thing you can't forget. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to stop. Oh, yeah, the bushings. Just to be sure, I would always buy 15 of each. Because you can never you can never have too many bushings. You can put too many bushings on a car, but you can really never have too many bushings. These are different brands. Trando and Boy's Price. Interesting, you can see the pedals there. And we need the brake stuff. Brake. Disc ventilated. And let's buy another one of those. Two of those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should be, I think that should be just enough brake pads for one side. What are we missing? Ah, oh yeah, sway bar front end link. Sway bar front end link A. Nope, A. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna 
do whatever I want with the tires and wheels. I'm going to find the most outrageous thing. So, let's see. What do we want? Oh, yeah, the Rims DLC. I forgot about that. That is, that is awesome. It's, boo it's bougie. Bougie wheels. Alright, let's see. What's... What 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 screams tuner right in your face when you see it? It's tuner but not ugly. I kind of like 27 because I like the five lugs. My first thought was Type R. So rim 27. What size? 13. Four of those guys. What tire do I want? I want... Well, let's go with... Race tire. Um... 185-60-R13. 185-60-R13. 185, 60, R13, 185, 60, R13, 185, 60, R13, 185, wait, 185, 60, R13, for those guys, $19.52, tire changer, Getting a lot of stuff done. That doesn't quite scream tuner at you. It's not that. It's not what it looked like in the magazine. Eh. I operate the tire station. Ooh, trash can. I wish it was like my summer car where there's like a basketball in the room and a hoop outside so when you're bored if you're ever doing something like this for example but this isn't in my summer car you can just shoot some hoops and play play and do whatever you want to your heart's content chop some wood but no there's always it's always just this so i'm gonna take one of them all right well you got the five lug wheel on there Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's a... Day, hmm, I think... Methinks that's a big... That's a bit big. I wonder. Oh, this side's gonna be a lot easier now that I have the parts and a lot faster. I could just slam everything on there. That's actually something you should never do in the car world, is... Something you should never say, because then bad things are gonna happen to you, you're gonna get bad luck for saying that smash it if you say you're gonna slap everything on there it's gonna sound like you're doing a slappy job and stuff and I, no i don't mean a sloppy job i mean a slappy job because slappy means you get slapped in the face if you do the wrong job and yeah i just made up a word It's also going to be faster now I have the rims and the wheels. Good to know that I got that off my in-game plate. I always forget the sway bar front end links. Still think I'm missing stuff from the engine, but I know I'm not. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Eh, eh, eh. Boom, done. Yippee ki yay. Now to do what I believe is the hardest part. The back. Cross member. Fuel. Not plowsing. Cross member. I think, yeah. Fuel. Nope. Nope, nope. 
and the rear knuckle things. Ah, oh, yes, they're really wacky looking one. I always buy whatever parts I can remember by heart from the Power Boost Performance Shop. And I lost my train of thought. Sorry about that. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but sorry for the added background noise. Just some laundry. Oh god, rear wheel drive V8. That's gonna be fun to take out on the road. So we need a bunch, uh, let's see, hub, hub arm shock sway, hub arm shock sway, arm shock sway, arm shock sway, arm shock. Sway, rear sway bar B, rear sway bar and link thingies. And I got most of that. Yep, I got, I got, huh, got everything right. Oh, good for me. Uh, let's see, we need the suspension arm. There's lots of arms and stuff back here. That's why I don't really, really like rear wheel drives, but. When I'm making a rear wheel drive V8, it's worth it just to see how that plays out because that's going to be fun. Also, granted there's some really fake lame looking parts of it because it's Disney. You can't be super intense and gory like other shows can. Uh, I highly recommend the show Lab Rats because that's one, a big childhood show, and two, it was just really funny. Especially when there's a really a dumb one, when there's a dumb one... Uh, a fast one and a really smart one, and that that was. It's quite interesting to see how all the whole whole show plays out. Nope. Rear wheel hub. <laughs> see rear wheel hub, rear wheel hub. Some track now. So, all the spring stuff, springy, spring, need the rear spring, rear spring cap, and for what? And then rear shock absorber caps because that's a very vital part. Sorry about the talking in the background. Let's see. Pads. We're gonna need the rear drive axle, which I didn't get, or which I didn't buy. Uh, let's see, rear drive axle, brake caliper. Oh, I know, I already have the brake caliper. Rear yep. drive more. axle. Yep. That's very necessito. Again, sorry about the background noise. to do the other side. Woo woo. That actually looks really cute and cool, so I I Wow. I cannot stress how much I really like that look on it. It just really fits this. I mean big wheel and tire fits tiny car. Everybody expects tiny car puny engine, but that's not Honda. Eh 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 Bushings! Attack of the no. bushings! Shock absorber! Rear suspension arm B! I think I, I might have already said this, but another good movie is Barnyard, the original party animals. Released in 2006, directed by Steve. I don't know your last name is Steve. Sorry about that, Steve. Uh, I know it starts with O D E. 
Yeah, it's like Steve Ode, Odie, 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 Otice. That was a reference, which you wouldn't get because none of you were. Apparently, most of my viewers are not cultured because they don't know what school monkeys, flat out, or midtown madness is. In my childhood, we were we were we were not sinners like all of you playing Call of Duty and GTA and all that. We played we played the unpopular games, the underappreciated games, Skull Monkeys, Flat Out, Midtown Madness, like we said, The Neverhood. One of them was a sequel to the other, Neverhood and Skull Monkeys. I remember that. Ah uh, yeah, it's time to put on my oh, not slick tire. Oh yeah, that's why. I was gonna say. Why is it like that? Uh, I really love those. I really freaking love those five lugs. Honestly. So we need a gearbox, a drive shaft. I always buy it from the custom shop. Gearbox. Gearbox. I feel like there's another part you need with the drive shaft to make the car drive properly. Drive shaft, that was stupid. I just typed in drive. Uh, starter. We're gonna be a normal starter or a V8 starter, so I just bought both just for safety reasons. Better safe than sorry. Depending on what you're talking about, that's always what I like to go with. Depending on what it is. That really depends on what it is, because sometimes I'm more on the sorry end than the safe end, because of. Let's just say I have some life. Let's just say I have some regrets in life. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, it was a V8 starter. Anyway, even though as fast as that was wrapped up, not with that. Now it's time to make this car pretty again. Yay, not gay. Uh, let's see. Lower it all the way down to the ground. See how low it is. Ah, oh, yes less than a bit more than half my height and you can see the suspension that's a, that's that's a big problem with this anyway we gotta move all the stuff the welder back to the car car lifter let's see wow that really shined it up that is awesome that really shined it up. Alright. Anyway, time to detail this. Wow. That looks nicer. Like, a lot nicer. That looks great. Now it looks like a Mini Cooper. Oh my god, that revealed too much, but that's just so beautiful. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh my god. I'm not going to say what that was. I saw it. My vision's been cursed. Now I'm so excited. Ah. Uh, seat. My favorite was always seat 11. Seat 11. Any of the seat 11s. It, yeah. Always seat 11 leather D. Steering wheel. That was always a hard choice. I There was always like old reliable, I don't remember which one it was, it was always like old reliable, this one right here, yep, mm -hmm. oops, uh, mm. interior assemble, there's, no, god dang it, Oh yeah, I already had that steering wheel. Bench. Yeah, I'll put in whatever bench I want. Bench. 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 Bench with an extra X. Alright. Ooh, this is a hard choice. Let's... Let's see what we got. There's no fake knockoff in-game Civic. Oh, I, I know, I know what it is, the closest thing is. Ooh, what Mazda? Ah, uh, 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 I don't know. I'm gonna go with the, this bench, because I, I like it. It's, we're, we're going with, why, what? 
That. Oh, what bench does it take? Tell me what bench you take. Seriously, I need to know. Bench. Bench. Bench Magnum Leather. <sighs> Magnum. Bench Magnum Leather. Interior disassemble, interior assemble, bench. There we go. Oh, that is the least legroom I have ever seen in a car. But hey, it's it's Honda. You can't you can't really expect much legroom. You can expect a ton from the engines though, but not much. Oh, I I see what they're doing. All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Now for the best and most fun part. Oh yeah, community cars body shop. I forgot about that. Uh, window body left. Yeah. Oh yes, I like. I usually like to pick what's the weirdest. Sometimes in cars. Ah yes. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. I usually buy everything. Because I have a ton of money and I could just sell whatever I don't want. I sound. That makes me sound really. Sp oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I gotta hide it though. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, just, that's the only hood option? No. Oh. This is turbo, turbo 2 left headlight D. Let's just, let's just pretend we never saw anything. Turbo 2, yes, we gotta have that badge. Ah, yes, tinted windows. You gotta look gangster when you're rolling in a Honda, because it's Honda's an American car. Just kidding. Don't take anything I say seriously unless you can tell by a tone of voice that I'm being serious like I am right now. Truck. Ah, oh, yes, we need the badging. We need to let people know that we are driving a Honda and we are racers. Ah, yeah, we need that ugly diffuser. Ah, I can't even see in there. Perfect. What, it, what is this? I don't know what that is. Is that like a little motorcycle thingy? Is that a radio? It looks like a motorcycle. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright. So for... Let's see. Why, 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 Let's go for my favorite state. I saw I said China Ching Chong. Oh, I would have died. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. Mm, uh, gay hatch. I'm gonna call this our gay hatch. Gay hot hatch. I like that. Okay, hot hatch. And time for one last thing, what I think is the last thing, yeah, let's see, condition, car value, oh yeah, I originally bought this for $10,025, I know that was, it's kind of weird that it was that, that even, but hey, it's, it, I guess it makes sense, maybe not, oh yeah, it just flies in there without me even having to open the doors. Okay, let's see what to paint this. I think I want to, I know what I want to paint it. It was always, I remember the mixture, it was 100, 24, 
Now, one of these is a hundred. No. This looks like the ratio, but it. Ah, oh, dang. Yo, me. Sixty-nine, just for the sake of sixty-nine. Done. And so let's see here. If we pop open the hood, let's just remember this. Five hundred ten horsepower. Factory horsepower. Five hundred ten horsepower at five thousand nine hundred thirty-five RPMs with four hundred sixty-eight pound-feet of torque at five thousand two hundred seventy RPMs. Let's move this boy to the dyno. Let's test it out. That's not even the part I was. I, I wasn't. That's not even the surprise, which I haven't blown surprisingly. Maybe I haven't. I just don't. And I just don't remember it. I don't know. All right, let's go. It still creeps me out to see a Honda sounding like that. Oh my Jesus! Wow, you know. 894 horsepower and 811 pound feet of torque in the in the Honda City Turbo 2. That is insane. Literally insane. I I I'm speechless. Anyway, it's time for the best part. I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for this, and you probably knew what was coming. We are going to the track. Taking it to the test track. Yeah. Anyway, let's go, let's go. Take this thing to the track. Oh, jeez. Ah! Alright. I'm not sure I control this. I think we'll just turn tune the gearbox a little bit and go from there. That didn't work. That didn't work out very well. Anyway, back to the point. Special I'm consider. going to I am the gearbox tuner. We are going to tune this. Let's let's go with a let's add speed manual because I'm smart. I don't think this can get to this high of a speed, but why not? So let's go with 164, 182, 182, 200. Did I turn in the bug? <coughs> 200 and I think 12, 200 and 27. Save that tune. 10 speed manual and a Honda City Turbo 2. That's quite awesome. Anyway, let's take it back to the track and this will be quite fun and hopefully it works and doesn't spin out like last time. We are back at the track with our supercharged JDM. Honda City Turbo 2, and let's go! Dang it, you can't turn the slightest bit. Okay, you know what, let's restart. Let's, let's try again. That's that. It's multiple take, multiple, clearly one or two takes is not going to be enough. This car cannot be taken on the track, so the, whatever, whatever it gives me, whatever feedback it gives me, is not going to be true, and what it sh I shouldn't pop up on the walls. These kids get all, all hopped up on Diet Coke and Jolly Ranchers. And I'm 
heading the wrong way, but I don't care, because I'm an American. My head's sticking out the roof. Anyway, this is a failed attempt. Let's return to the garage. Yeah. That didn't work out very well. So that was a fail. I don't think a 10-speed manual is going to cut it for this little guy, because clearly the V8 is too powerful, and something's happening, and I think it's the rear-wheel drive factor that's just throwing it off. And, yeah, it's hand speed manual. Ah, yes, perfection. Anyway, I think that'll just about do it for this video. And I guess I will see you in the next video, if that's Car Mechanic Simulator or any other video. Anyway, bye-bye, and have a great day or night. Adios.